Okay, I'm going to do <clears throat> a lesson on our eyeshadows and the lips. I've already done this one eye. Um, maybe you can see. I put Whisper Pink at the top. I put Pink Posy on my lid and garnet in the crease. And then our wonderful um, liquid eyeliner that contains a tiny bit of alcohol. So it does not work like most liquid eyeliners. It won't run. So it's very easy to work with. So I'm going to do this left eye. And I'm going to try not to make funny faces, but you know when we're getting dressed, we always make funny faces. Men don't get it, but we do. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some Whisper Pink um, eyeshadow, which is cream to powder. I'm going to just dab a little there, which, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Okay, and I'm going to rub it with a brush. And when I do that, it's going to turn into a powder that's going to set on my eye so that by the end of the day, my eyeshadow will be exactly like it is now. It will not crease up on my eye like most eyeshadows, and it will not be under my eye, and it will not be gone. It will still be there. So that's Whisper Pink, and I blend it all over. Now I'm going to come back with a pretty pink posy. I love the pink posy. I wear it a lot because I do love pink. I'm going to put it on my lid, just the lid. I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to brush it just like I did the other. And while it's still creamy, it will blend easily. See how easy it blended? And then in a few seconds, it'll be dry and it won't move. So it won't crease up. Now I'm gonna take a real pretty color that I like. It's Garnet, which is a darker color. Um, it kind of has a tendency to be um, a little on the brown and maybe a little bit of plum kind of mixed in. It's a darker color. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in the crease. I'm gonna just do it right here. And while it's still cream, I will blend it. It will be very pretty. My lips, I'm going to do to match my eyeshadow. Now, that's my eye. Except now for my eyeliner. Can you see? Now, I want you to notice my eyebrow. They're different. I'm going to put a tiny bit of our liquid eyeliner in that eyebrow, and this eyebrow, when I get through. But this is how I'm going to put my eyeliner on. I'm going to try to do it looking in the phone. I start over here. I, oh, this is going to be hard in the phone instead of the mirror. Just draw across. Like I said, it has a tiny bit of alcohol in it, so it makes it dry really fast. So see, it didn't run like most liquid eyeliners do. And I like mine thick, so I'm going to look in the mirror so I can see better. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll turn it a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get mine a little bit thicker. Looks like a lot thicker. Try doing a video putting on eyeliner. How about that? Yeah, I got a little bit thick. That's okay. I'm one that, if I mess up, in a little spot and get it too thick. I'll just even it out, make it a little thicker, because that's the way I am. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's my country self. Okay, let me get more professional. Okay, here we go. So now we will connect that to under and go across. Now when you do go under your eye with it, because it does have the alcohol in it, you'll feel those fumes a little bit. Sometimes they'll kind of be evaporating and it doesn't hurt, but you'll just feel it. Um, and to kind of cut down on that some, you can take it and blow it, and that'll sort of dry the alcohol a little bit. And then you won't feel it at all. But now those eyes, the eyeliner should match. And I'm going to make my eyebrow match. So I'm going to take a little eyebrow brush that I have. I'm going to brush it backwards to get any foundation or powder off of that. I'm going to take some of our eyeliner, which is waterproof, smudge-proof. And I'm going to just kind of go backwards in my eyebrow. This is the black-brown because I'm trying to match the roots of my hair, and my hair is dark. Brush it back, and now you have a perfectly arched eyebrow that matches the other one. Um, now I'm gonna do my lips quickly. Clean them. With, oops. Comes in your lip kit. It'll take your lipstick off, or it will clean your lips. My lips are clean. Now today I'm going to use <coughs> Fleur de Lisa. Fleur de Lisa that everybody that loves the New Orleans Saints or loves pink really should buy this. 
Okay, now I'm going to press and glide. Try not to talk. Okay. There's two coats of it. Now I'm going to top that. It's drying really fast because of the alcohol. Let it dry. Keep your lips stretched out the whole time. Do like that if you need to swallow because you don't close your lips. You don't close your mouth. This is Kelly's Crush. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a real pretty frost to it. I'll cover this. I'm going to go over it. One coat. Kelly's Crush. I'm going to go inside my lip because my lips are big. Okay, let it dry. If you ever have any lip color on your gloss, it's because you didn't let it dry quick, uh, long enough. So you just let it dry a few seconds, which you'll see. While I'm doing that, I'll show you the bronzer powder. Give yourself a natural, healthy glow tan. Very pretty. Color. I love the bronzer. Use it every day. Now our lips are dry, so I'm going to show you our Shea Butter Gloss, which is very moisturizing to your lips. There's my applicator. Here's my gloss. There's my applicator. Still clean. Share my video. If you share my video and you like my video and you leave a nice comment, I'm going to put your name into a drawing this month for a $45 bottle of our Pearlizer. Thanks.